Okay, I have more stuff. Does it ever end? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. So let's open up and see what we got. Not too many items in here, but there are a couple of clothing items. All right, first up, I ordered more watch accessories, um, mainly because the screen protector that I had ordered in the prior haul, um, it was actually too big for my watch. So I ordered it again in a different size, hoping it will fit. But then, you know, I got to looking at the watch accessories and ordered more. Here's my tie-dye band I got from Timu, and I love it. So I got this band. Oh, you know what? Let me grab the prices. All right, so I grabbed this band. This is listed as Boho Leopard Flower or something, um, $1.96. And the color is called Starlight, and it is like a beigey kind of dark cream color. But it has the leopard print um, sort of engraved, for lack of a better word. Um, yeah, I am not a big fan of animal print, but I don't know. This just stood out to me as something that has a little, it's like a muted color, but it has a little bit of, a little bit fancier because of the print. I don't know, guys. I just picked it, okay? <laughs> um, they did have this in other colors as well. And again, that color is Starlight. Then we have cheapo corner punchers i love the cheapo ones they seem to work best for me for whatever reason um so that was a dollar eight and i did grab two of them because they dull pretty quickly so a dollar eight each here we have the screen protector um so this was two dollars and 98 cents now, the thing about Timu is, and I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but um, their prices fluctuate very rapidly, like even from day to day. So this was $2.98 for me, but for you it might be cheaper or it might be, um, you know, more expensive. So that's just the thing about Timu. Um, but it's just a little bit of bling bling. Um, it's kind of hard to see and they did have this in other colors as well. This is the clear so like this is transparent right here um, It does look like this one is gonna fit though. So yay I had no idea like what size my watch was when I ordered the other stuff. I just kind of Randomly added stuff to the cart. So when this didn't fit I had to go back and actually check luckily the bands did fit so yeah so that's that and then i also got another screen protector which should be in here as well saving the clothes for last all right another watch band this was three dollars and 48 cents um again they had this in multiple colors as well um i don't know where i think i'm going with all these watch bands and stuff but you know it's nice to have options right so this is just transparent it's just clear it's like a jelly kind of material again they did have other colors um but you know once again something different so yeah i don't know it's cute all right so three dollars and 48 cents for that one Next is just another screen protector for my watch. This one was only $1.48, and it's just completely clear. I just think, you know, this will go with anything. Oh, this is actually like a jelly kind of material. All the other ones I've had have been plastic, um, so that's interesting. Uh, and this one actually, I didn't realize, but this one has no, like, covering here, whereas the one I have now, this is like a covering as well like you know a screen protector so not just like a bumper but it protects the screen as well so maybe I won't really use this I don't know but it was a dollar 48 so there's that and that is all the watch stuff we're kind of almost done I didn't this is not a big order um next I ordered a pair of slippers that I absolutely do not need um I went on the search for winter boots just out of curiosity. Again, I don't need winter boots. 
but I was just curious and I found these um, cozy plush household slippers because like how comfy do they look and they're pretty cute but they're cute enough where I could wear these out like run into the grocery store or whatever um because they kind of look like a little booty right so these were $13.98 this is the color black I did get them in a size 10 so let's see my foot sizing is it's so hard to figure out these days like I said my foot grew um these look like they're gonna fit good though Okay, so they fit, but my toes are kind of right at the edge. So if I'm wearing these with socks, which I will be, um, they might be a little snug, but that's okay. I'm hoping they'll kind of stretch out a little bit, but these are super comfortable. They're a little bit squishy in here, nice and warm and cozy. These were a good find. I love these. And I definitely will wear these out of the house. They have, you know, the sole and everything. Um... Yeah, the size on here is listed as a 10 as well. I know sometimes they do like different kind of numbers with their sizing, but that's listed as a 10 as well. So these are a win for sure. I do think they had them in one or two other colors as well. Again, this is the black. It's black here with kind of like a grayish, like a dark charcoal gray. Um, so yeah, these are awesome. Okay, three more things. Um... Firstly, I got another bra because you can never have too much, too many, right? And it's just like the impulse buys with me with Timo. Um, I, they have, you know, oh, you may like, and they have a bunch of stuff. And this was on there and I liked it. <laughs> so they got me. Um, so this is a seamless bra. It was $6.69. The color is listed as rose brown and it does look like a beige or bordering on like a mauve color. I'm not sure how well it's going to come off, come off on the camera. It almost looks kind of grayish as well depending on the lighting. Um, so yeah, the color is rose brown. I did get it in an XXL because I didn't want it to be tight at all, but it actually hooks in the front, which I liked because a lot of seamless bras, they're, they pull over your head, which is fine for me, but I thought this was something different. And so it has, you know, you could adjust it there and yeah. Um, it's very soft and like silky feeling. It does have pads built in, but you can remove them. And then here is the back. So I think it's really cute too. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on and I'll let you all know. All right, you guys. Run and grab that. If you like to be comfortable, you like seamless bras, this is a winner for sure. I think I could have sized down one, but it's not like huge on me. It's definitely still wearable. Um, I think a little bit tighter would have been a little bit more supportive. That's the thing about these um, types of bras. It's not like the most supportive, but you know, that doesn't bother me. It is so comfortable. One thing I do wish um, that the straps were adjustable, but I understand for like maximum comfort, there's no, you know, clasps or anything like that. So I am fine with it. It is very comfortable and I definitely recommend it. So it will be linked below. If you're interested in it, go ahead and grab it. They did have it in a bunch of colors as well. All right, so we got two more things. I ordered two more pairs of pants because I'm still looking for pants that are gonna be comfortable on me. So these, I don't know what happened in this bag. It looked like it melted or something. Um, these are listed as um, the color dark gray. They were $12.47 and I got them in an XXL, but as soon as I take them out, I'm feeling that there is elastic here, so. Probably not going to work, but they are joggers again. I'm just loving the jogger style. They are like an athletic fabric and they do have 
the ankle cuff. So I will go ahead and try those on, but they're probably gonna be a no. And then I'll just open these as well. Um, these are women's plus size sports pants, $9.89. The color is light gray, and I got them in a 2XL, which is a 16. Um, Again, the sizing with me, I always tend to overcompensate and buy bigger than I need usually because I don't like anything tight. And once again, unfortunately, I am feeling elastic in here. However, with this one, I can remove the elastic um, probably pretty easily. So these may work for me as long as they're not too big. Um, but they have the crossover waist and they are like, a, wow, a really big flare. Um, which I don't love, but if they work for me, I can taper that myself. Um, yeah, they look huge <laughs> in the legs. They're like very wide leg pants. Um, they are kind of like an active wear material, pretty stretchy. Um, I think they'll be pretty comfy. So yeah, let's go ahead and just try these both on. All right, so these first ones are definitely not gonna work for me. Um, the elastic is way too tight on my waist, but also I don't love how high they come up. Like seriously, like my belly button is here. They come up super duper high, which I don't love. They do have pockets, here's the back. Um, and again, I'm really bummed because they're like so, so comfortable. So soft and silky so easy to like walk in and lounge in they're a little bit loose but like just tight enough on the leg um i love these everywhere else except for from like here up <laughs> um so i don't know i may try to remove the elastic and i did say that last time but i just ended up returning the pants i don't know you guys if I remove the elastic, I'm sure it'll be fine. But again, they come up so high. It's just, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to decide on these. But if you like your pants super high rise um, and, you know, elastic doesn't bother you, I highly recommend these. Very, very cute and ugh, just so, so stinking comfortable. All right, let's try on the last pair. Okay, these will work if I take the elastic out. Again, um, the elastic is too much for me, but for a normal person, they would be just fine. Here's the crossover waist. It's not, it's kind of like a faux crossover, honestly. Um, it's not quite as, you know, V-shaped as some of the other ones, but here is that. They do come up kind of high, but not terrible. Let's see, my belly button is, my belly button's actually just right about here. So, you know, definitely over the belly button, but not like the other ones. Um, here's the back. There's no pockets anywhere. And it's going to be really hard to tell, but um, super duper wide leg. So yeah, I definitely would taper those. Um, I may keep these. They were only 10 bucks. It's like, do I want to keep them and remove the elastic and possibly have them still not be good? Or do I want to get the credit and do more shopping on Timu? <laughs> it's a toss up. So um, I may try to just keep them both because I really love those ones. <sighs> but they come up so high. I don't know. I'll have to decide, but that is it. Um, I don't know. Am I going to do more hauls soon? Who knows? Um, I don't want to have too many Timu haul videos and not enough cash stuffing videos, <laughs> but let me know below. Do you guys like these videos or not? Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. T-E-M-U, you know what I like to do, I shop on Timu. Okay, <laughs> you know I had to think about it ahead of time, right? And that was so much like less smooth than I wanted it to be, but 
I'm only doing it once because, you know, that's just who I am. So, I have more Teemu stuff. Of course I do, right? Um, let's get going. Yeah, so, I have two packages here. This one came by itself. It's just a small little, you know, one item. So, if you're new to Teemu, um, it is awesome. They have literally everything. They have clothing, makeup, jewelry, office stuff, kitchen stuff, home stuff, toys, everything you can imagine. Um, everything is going to be linked for you in the description box below. And also, I am now a Timu influencer, which means that I have exclusive codes just for you all to get a discount. So if you click my link or copy and paste my link down below, it will take you right to Timu. And if you're a first time user, you will get all of the benefits. You'll get a $100 coupon bundle and I believe 50% off your entire first order as well. Um, I definitely recommend using the app with Timu. It's so easy to use. And if you join the app, either again through my link or my code and you're a first time user, that helps me out a little bit as well. So I truly appreciate that. All right, so let's get going. Um, this first item is a mini power bank. Um, the box came opened a little bit, but that's okay. I, you know, everybody and their brother seems to have these these days, and I do not. So I just wanted to get one just for times when I'm out and about and need, you know, a charge on my phone. So I have an iPhone. So I wanted to make sure that what I got, you know, works with iPhone. So I went with this style where you kind of plug it in the bottom of your phone. Um, it's pretty small. I believe they probably had other colors. It has um, this little cover here to protect the port, but it, you know, it pulls off. Now it does not come off all the way, which is actually pretty nice. So you won't ever lose this cover. Um, although I'm wondering, you know, if that will get in the way when I plug my phone into there. I'm guessing not. Um, and then it also has the USB-C, I believe this is, um, port as well if you want it to use this with an Android. With this, you can actually choose whether to have the Android connection up here and then the iPhone connection would be here or vice versa. I obviously chose this version because I have an iPhone, but it's really cool that you can choose the configuration you want this in. And then here on the back is where you would charge this and it does come with your charging cord, no plug, but that's okay, we have a, a million of them. So that is the first item. It is just now occurring to me that I don't have the price is up. So let me go ahead and pull those up for you now. All right. So that charging power bank was $11 and 49 cents. And like I said, I have been wanting one of those for a while. It was one of those things where it, every time I like my phone is almost dead or I see someone else using that or whatever. I'm like, I should get one of those, but then I never seem to actually get one. Um, and I finally decided to grab myself one. So I definitely think it's worth the investment. It will be a nice thing to kind of keep in my bag or whatever, um, you know, for when I'm out and about and need it. So let's get into this big package here. See what we've got. Looks like I may have gotten some more clothing, which is like probably one of my favorite things to get from Timu. So let's just go. Yeah, a lot of clothing in here, it looks like. Okay, next is this mobile phoned, mo phoned? Mobile phone stand. The box is a little bit crushed, um, but again, that's okay as long as what's inside is not broken. So, um, this was $4 and 14 cents. It looks like I got it in the silvery color. I'm guessing there were, you know, more multiple color options with this. I got this because as you know, I have a YouTube channel or maybe you didn't know that. <laughs> um, and I really don't have a great angle as far as when I need to shoot face on videos like this, even though I'm shooting one now and 
not using this. Um, so this was just an extra I picked up just to make that easier for myself. And it was $4. So, I mean, you know, I didn't mind spending the money. So it comes with this stand. And this stand feels really sturdy, like a hard plastic or this kind of feels like metal. Um, it also has this, which it looks like is like non-slip so that I can put it on the bottom here. Yeah, I could see that this, these shapes match the shapes on here. Um, and these are like a silicone-y, so that's pretty cool. It'll be non-slip. And then just the, the holder part, this is supposed to be... Well, I thought this was supposed to be adjustable, but it's not looking like it. Um, so this just goes right on here. And then, oh, maybe it's, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it goes. It looks like that's it, actually. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if this will work. Hopefully it will. Um, and then this tilts. Even if I just put my phone in it just to rest it on my desk or whatever, um, that will still, you know, work. Um, so yeah, I mean, four bucks. So that is that. Next item, uh, last haul or the haul before that, I had these shoes and I absolutely loved them. They looked like they were gonna be super comfortable, but they were too big. So I did have to return them. But I got them in the, you know, a smaller size. So that last video was a, a 10 and a half, which I have no idea once again why I ordered such a big size. Um, but now I got them in a 10. So they are these canvas slip-on shoes. Um, they're like that dude or hey dude brand, like, you know, a knockoff of that. Um, wow, I'm so old and like not with the times. I don't even know the name of that brand. <laughs> um, so yeah, so they're super cute. I love skulls and skeletons. Um, and they feel like pretty cushiony in here. Um, and they feel like they're going to be super duper comfortable. So these were $18.48. I believe that's like maybe $2 more than I had originally paid for them. That's one thing about Timu is the prices are always fluctuating. So something that if you're interested in something in this video, you click on the link, I tell you a price. It could be a completely different price. It could be cheaper. It could be more expensive. Um, so yeah, so that's these. And I'm just going to put these on real quick because I'm hoping they fit. And I want to see how comfortable they are. So I'll be right back. All right, so they do still feel a little bit big. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them because I... If they're too big, I'm not going to wear them, and then they would be a waste of money. So the size listed on here is a 41, and again, it's a size 10. I don't think they had this particular print in a 9.5, or maybe they did, and I thought a 10 would be okay based on the last pair. But yeah, I think these may be a return. I don't know if I'm going to buy them a third time. <sighs> we'll just have to see. I should have should have went with a 9.5, but what could you do? Um, they did feel like they would be pretty comfortable. Uh, although I will say that they also felt kind of like the memory foam would run out kind of quickly. By run out, I mean like, have you ever had memory foam shoes and then after so long of using them, of wearing them, the memory foam is not memory-y anymore. That's what I mean by these. But they still feel super comfortable. Very cute, um, you know, and very quick and easy to just slip on when you're running somewhere. So that is that. It looks like the rest of the stuff, almost all of it might be clothing. I think I have one more non-clothing item here and it's this. <laughs> So I just picked up this little silicone sponge. It was $1.58. I have been wanting to try silicone sponges for a while. And when I happened to see this on Timu, I grabbed it. So really flexible. 
um, you know, a decent size. They did, I'm sure, have this in multiple colors as well, and it was $1.58, so, you know, not expensive at all. It does have a little thing here where you can hang it from something. Um, so if you use silicone sponges, let me know what you think of them. Um, and how do I clean this? Like, does it clean itself because I'm using soap and water when I'm washing dishes? Like, does that question make sense? <laughs> let me know if you use these, how to use this. Okay. <laughs> so $1.58 for that. And then as I said, the rest is clothing. So pull these all out. I'll show them and then we'll do a try on. All right, so first I got a bra. Now, I already have this bra from Timu. I love it. It is so, so comfortable. So I just got it in another color. This uh, is black. It is an XXL, and it was $7.97. And it looks like this. It has the double straps on the shoulder, which I think are cute. And then the back is pretty strappy and just cute, but so comfortable. It's very soft. It's pretty stretchy. It does have padding inside, but the padding is removable. If you don't like that, um, I do like the pads because I think they offer a little bit of lift, which is what I need after breastfeeding two kids. Um, so yeah, very comfortable. I'm not going to well, I guess I could try this on for you all. <clears throat> Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I already have this and I already know it's a win. So if you're looking for comfortable bras, this for sure is the way to go. And as I said, it will be linked below. All right, so that's that. Let's see what this is. These I thought were so cute, but I'm completely unsure of these. If you're new here, I cannot wear any elastic waisted pants. They're uncomfortable for me. Um, and so I'm always on the hunt for things that do not have elastic in the waist. So these I felt like probably, you know, do have elastic, but now that I'm opening them, they do not. So these are tie dye tummy control yoga shorts. I got them in an XL, which is showing as a size 12 and they were $7 and 97 cents. Um, but these are probably going to be super compressive, so I'm betting these are not going to work for me. I'm still going to try them on, but we'll see. And I can tell, I don't think I knew this, but they have the scrunchy butt. So if you, if you can see like the elastic down there and the ruch, ruching. Um, I've never owned a scrunchy butt item, <laughs> but uh, I'm told it is supposed to make your butt look good. So we'll see, I guess. So I guess I'll try on these along with the bra for you first, and then we'll go from there. I'll be right back. All right, we're sticking with this camera angle since I already have the camera set up. Um, it's not the best angle, and also there's a huge mess behind me, so disregard. Um, but yeah, I love the bra. I knew I would. As I said, I already have it. Um, you know, here's what it looks like. It's nice and soft and stretchy. I do have to scrunch down for this, so sorry if it's not the best angle. Um, so the bra is definitely a win. As far as the shorts, oh, I love these so much, but they're just not gonna work. They're too compressive on my belly. Um, you can see that my belly looks pregnant. This is diastasis recti. That's why my belly kind of sticks out like this. Um, it's because I have an ab separation and it's the reason why I can't wear anything too compressive or tight on my belly including elastic. So these are so cute. They're so soft and stretchy. It'd be perfect for yoga or any kind of working out. Um, and I'm really bummed, really, really bummed. Um, I'm going to have to return these, but they're so cute. They did have two other colors of these as well. And as far as the scrunchy butt goes, I mean, I don't know if it really emphasizes anything or not, but you know, you can be the judge. So yeah, these are a win for sure if you're a normal person and can wear compressive things. But for me, I'm going to have to send them back. So boo. All right, let's bring the chair back over so I can sit down while I'm opening the next item. All right, next looks like a t-shirt. I just threw this in because as I said, I love skeletons, which 
I guess it sounds weird, but I don't know. I just do. So um, this was $7.59. It is a an XL, and the color is malachite green. And it's just a simple t-shirt with the peace sign. I think it's so cute. It is very soft. The material feels really nice. Um, and let's see as far as the stretch goes. Pretty stretchy as well. Um, it feels like a really good quality t-shirt. Um, it looks like it might be kind of big, uh, but we will see. And I don't know if it will shrink at all or not. So there's that. And then you guys, I got a pair of jeans. So let's open these up and see. These are, um, let's see, the color medium blue. I got them in an XXL, which is showing as a 14. And they were $14.39. So... Very cute. I like the color. Um, they are skinny jeans, so they're, you know, tapered at the ankle. They have a couple little distressed, frayed parts, but not overboard. Um, here's what the back looks like. And they do button all the way up. Um, it is not a zipper. These are all buttons, which is not my preferred style but that's okay they feel really stretchy and I believe that was one what a lot of the reviews said was that you could size down because of how stretchy they were me though I need that extra room in the tummy so you know I never really size down when it comes to pants so let's try on these two things together and see what they look like you guys need to run run to Timu right now, click on my links below because wow. Okay, so first for the shirt, I love it. It um, It is a little bit big on me. I could definitely go down a size and be completely fine. The sleeves are a little bit longer than I like, but not a big deal whatsoever. Super cute. I like that the print or whatever this is, the graphic is, you know, big enough where you can see it. I don't know if it'll shrink. I hope it does shrink a little bit, honestly, because you know, I would like it a little bit smaller, but I tend to err on the side of caution when ordering things online. So I went with the XL. Um, I could even probably do some kind of little, you know, thingy like this and uh, tie it up. So t-shirt is a for sure win, but these jeans, oh my God, get them now. If you're looking for jeans, get these. Now, I haven't worn jeans since mm, approximately 1937 because, I don't know, I just like to be comfortable. I wear leggings constantly. If I need to leave the house, leggings. But that is going to change because these jeans are so comfortable. They fit amazing. I like the amount of stretch in them. They have, and they are real jeans, you guys. They're real denim. They're not any faux denim or anything like that. The pockets are real in the front and the back. The button up is, you know, not an issue to me. Could do something like this. I don't know. I'm not trendy or stylish whatsoever. So who knows? <laughs> um, and I know you're not going to be able to really see the bottom of these, but, um, you know, I love skinny jeans because... I do not like my pants to drag on the ground. So I don't really like boot cut or flares or anything like that. So they're tapered. They are a tad bit long on me. I am 5'4". Um, I don't remember if they have like a short version or petite version. Actually, I could tell you now if I just click on it. Let's see. No, they didn't. They only had, you know, the size is not not any adjustments with the length but still these are a for sure when I love these so much oh my gosh I wonder if they I didn't see any other colors like as far as this particular style but I would totally love these in black I would love them so win and win yes all right two more things you guys and then that's it um, so another Halloween shirt, I don't know, I just grabbed it, honestly, because I loved the tie-dye, uh, I love tie-dye, 
and this was pretty comfortable. Now this feels really soft, kind of like silky almost. Pretty stretchy as well, but it is, what does it say? Salem Sisters Brewing Company. <laughs> I couldn't read upside down. Now, how cute is this for fall, like fall and Halloween? I almost said Halloween. <laughs> um, again, really silky feeling, which I know maybe some people might not like, but this feels pretty good and nice and stretchy. So let me really quick try this on. Let's tell you about it. Um, it was $6.69. I got it in a size XL, which is showing as a 12. And then the color is just listed as multicolor or multicolor. So let's try it on real quick. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Now this is more along the lines of how I like my shirts to fit. You know, let me just adjust this camera. We're done with the pants. So there's no reason for me to be crouching down so much. So yeah, this is like a perfect, perfect fit for me. I love it. It's definitely a keeper. Again, soft, silky, stretchy, and I love the color and it's cute. And it's not only something I'll wear for fall and Halloween, I don't think, because, you know, I think this could be for any time, any day. All right, so last but not least, if you've seen the Barbie movie, you will know what this is about. But as soon as I saw this in the Barbie movie, I said, I wonder if they have a shirt like that. I want it. So here it is. I am Kenuff. <laughs> um, and let me see. So this feels like double brushed poly, a little bit thicker super soft. Again, if you've ever felt LuLaRoe leggings, um, how soft they are, that's double brushed poly. And that's what this feels like. Um, it looks like it's probably going to be big. I got it in a size XL. It was $5 and 79 cents. And it doesn't feel too stretchy. It has a little bit of stretch. Um, it actually feels more stretchy vertically than horizontally but that's okay so let me go ahead and try this on and see what i think all right so yeah it's definitely a little bit big but i'm for sure keeping it because i just love it so much um again sleeves a tad bit longer than i would like but not a huge deal to me i kind of tucked it in a little bit but here it is um, I probably could have downsized, but that's okay. I'm hoping it'll shrink a little bit, but I don't think it will. Um, it feels like silky inside actually. Um, so this is actually probably more of a single brushed poly. The brushed, AKA the soft side is on the outside and then the inside feels kind of silky. So that is that. And that is the last item. So once again, thank you for joining me for yet another Timu haul. You all know I already have another order on the way, right? <laughs> um, I have made a separate playlist just for Timu hauls so that, you know, they're not combined in with the cash stuffing if that's what you're here for, only the cash stuffing, although then why are you watching this? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a separate playlist for that. Don't forget, everything is linked down below in my description if there's anything you're interested in. Please, if you're going to go shopping on Timu, use my code or uh, enter Timu through my link again down in the description box. And that does help me out a little bit. It will allow me to bring you even more Timu hauls. If there's anything you're interested in at Timu and you want me to try to haul, let me know below. I will try to do that for you. And just as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.